Hi everyone, today I'm going to be playing The Pursuit of Happiness, which is, as the title suggests, about pursuing happiness, uh, fulfilling goals and living the most fulfilling life. And for that effect, we need to be a Zen family oriented project manager to win this solo game. In the solo game, you set up as a two player game and bring the life goals right here. And you'll see the bottom of them, I've got, instead of the bonus points that you can get, we have certain goals that we need to achieve before the end of the game. We also need to score 50 points, and that will win us the game. So I'll start off with a quick overview of what's going to be going on. If you'd like to skip straight to the gameplay, I'll put a link on the screen somewhere, and you can click that. But in the meantime, let's get on with the rules. So, in the game, I have six hourglasses. I start off with six. I can get more later if I'm very lucky. But the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'll have to pick between one of these child traits. So I could either be a nerd when I was a child or creative. And they're going to help me get bonuses when I take certain actions and alter the starting resources that I get. And I might make decisions based on what I know the life goals are going to be. But I would pick that. And then I have six actions that I can take. And you'll see in our teen years, that's the first round, there are six actions available and, well, seven because you can rest. And these three aren't available until next round. So these, these actions here are for gaining resources. There's study where you can gain knowledge, play where you can gain three creativity, interact where you can gain three influence, and you can take a temp job where you can earn three money. Now the other actions, take project, we would need to come to this section of the board where you can choose a project. And you would just pick the one you wanted, like say I wanted to write non-fiction, you would come down here and put it down here. You would need to pay the cost, which would be one knowledge to start this thing, to, to write a tourist guide as the start of our non-fiction. I would put my cube there and I would gain two influence for doing that. And now, later on in the round, I could take an action actually on here, rather than on the board. And I could pay the cost of the next level, so I have paid the time. I could pay two more knowledge to gain two influence and a long-term happiness, which is the points of the game. And I could move down to the next level. When I have reached the last level and fulfilled that, then I get to take this out of my tableau and just set it off to one side and in this game I, w I need to complete at least three projects so I need to get to the bottom of some of these. Other types of projects are single round projects and you'll know those from the symbol in this corner here. In these you don't progress in them you need to pick which level you want to do so this project is for a game show and you could be an idiot, just spend one knowledge and you get a short-term happiness. Or you can go all the way up to being a genius. That costs 10 knowledge and 2 creativity, but you'll earn 3 money and 6 points. So that could be very good if you can afford it at the time. And these are just taken out at the end of the round that they're gained in. There are also group projects, which in the normal game other people can contribute to. But obviously there's no one to, contrib to contribute to them in this game, but you can do it yourself. So you pick the stage of the acapella quartet you want to be on. Do you want to be on the low notes, the high notes, the really high notes or the gaps? And you pay the cost and get the reward. Cost on the left side, reward on the right side. And put your cube there to say which type you took. If you have a certain number of your cubes on here, then you can get an extra reward at the end of the round. But these are probably going to be a little less attractive for us since we're going to be the only people on there. So that's the projects. You can also spend, and for this we look at the items row, and oh, these items are actually all pretty much the same. There's no choice in these. So you would just pick the one you wanted, pay the cost, and get the reward. But there are other ones, like here we go. We could watch a play. And for this, you don't progress through these, you pick which one you want right away. So depending on the amount of money I want to spend, do I want to go see some local talent or fringe play? And I would get better rewards the more I'm willing to pay. There are other items 
where, here we go, if I wanted to buy a house, these have upkeeps. So I need to pay this as soon as I get it and I get that as a reward. But at the start of every round in the future, I'm gonna to have to pay three money to maintain my caravan and I'm gonna get a long-term happiness for that. And that is for the rest of the game unless I decide to give it up and take some penalties for that. But that's the items and that's all the actions you can really take. To take the action, you put your hourglass on there. If you wanna take the action again, and there is already an hourglass there of yours, you need to take stress to be able to take the action. If your stress goes over the blue into this section, you lose one of your hourglasses next round. So that's less actions you're gonna to get to take. So you wanna do, you wanna take a little bit of stress, but not too much. Rest will bring you back down in stress, but only to the colored section that you're in. So if I've already got stressed out, I can't come back into this area through just resting. I can only get to the left-hand side of that area. As the rounds go on, so as we move to being an adult, more things will unlock, like in the, as soon as we get into the second round, these will come off. We can do the overtime action, which gives us two stress, but we can get two extra hourglasses this round. And then we can get jobs. There will be jobs out like these. And like anything else, to take the job, you need to pay this, and you would earn 11 money for this job. But it also has an upkeep. Since you're gonna be needing to spend some time on your job, at the beginning of every round in the future, you're gonna to have to spend two of your hourglasses and some creativity and some knowledge to earn the same amount of money every round, but that's gonna eat into the actions that you can take. And the jobs also have levels. So this is a level two arts job. There's level one and level three also in there. If the level three arts job came out and I had this in front of me, I could spend a time and some knowledge and creativity to get a promotion, earn this extra, and then I would have a level three arts job for future rounds. And there are all sorts of different jobs depending on what route you wanna take. The Last action is develop a relationship. So there are gonna be relationships that we can take. And that is one of our goals. We are family oriented, so I'm gonna to have to do this. To develop a relationship, you just pick the person you would like a relationship with, and they're, they're male and female on the other side, depending on your preference. But you would take them in front of you, put the cube on dating, you always start dating and there's no prerequisite for that and you'll earn something. Later on, when you take the develop relationship action in the future, you can further your relationship. They have a requirement, so Mel would like me to be very knowledgeable to be in a relationship with me. So I would have to have at least five knowledge, but then I would earn this stuff here and I start to have upkeep. I've got a relationship, I need to spend time on that relationship at the start of every round, but I do get benefits from doing that. And I can also develop it further later on and raise a family, but I would need at least eight knowledge to do that. But every round in the future, I would start getting points. So that can be very nice. The extra thing is short-term happiness. So when you take things like canoeing, for example, that would give me a short-term happiness. I would move up or down, depending on what's happened to me. And if I have some positive short-term happiness, when I take projects, I can get a one, two, or three discount on certain resources when I take the things. So if I can get very happy in the short term, then it will be a lot less costly for me to get the things that I need. At any one time, you can have as many items as you want, but projects, relationships, and jobs, you can only have three in total of those things at one time. So you need to complete projects really as quickly as you can. And if you're gonna permanently keep a job and a relationship, then that's only one slot free for a project at any time. At the start of every round in the future, we're gonna move the round marker up. We're gonna discard all the cards from here and put new ones out based on the number of players. In a solo game, you put the number of cards out for a two-player game. 
and then we would gain or lose hourglasses based on our position on the stress track. If we have more than three job, project and relationship cards in front of us, then we take a stress for every one over three. So you can do it, but it's gonna cause a lot of stress. And if you have multiple partners, that is also an extra stress. So you can do it. Then you would need to pay the upkeep costs of anything that you've got. If you don't pay the upkeep cost of anything through not being able to or by choice, you get rid of the card and gain a stress and lose a short-term happiness. And that is reset every round as well. You also gain rewards at the end of every round for certain projects that you've been in, like group projects and single round projects. And at the end of round five here, when we go into the new round, we're gonna stop being able to use the overtime and we're gonna have to take a certain amount of stress. So three, six and nine stress, depending on the round. And that is gonna move us into these higher areas. And if you move past the stress track, then you're gonna die. And that is the end of the game for you. There are certain items and projects, I don't know if I can quickly find one right now, probably not, that have a heart symbol on them, like this. And if you take the card with that on it, then you would get to move one section lower, which is gonna gain you extra actions for as long as you're, you can stay in that section. And you need to do that to be able to stay in these later rounds when you're gonna be moving three, then six, if I hadn't moved to an earlier section, I would not be able to do any actions in the second round because I will have passed on. And I think that's the game, really. Uh, our goal, as I said, is to have 50 points at the end of the game, and I need to have completed at least three projects, raised a family with a partner, and I need to die after the second round of old age. So I need to... I need to grab some things with those hearts on to be able to keep going and that's the game i'll see you back for the gameplay in a second once i've reset all this okay and we're ready to start my teen years round one so the first decision i need to make is based on my life goals here which child trait am i going to take and i think uh, i think i'm going to be a nerd so that means when i take the study action i'm going to gain an extra knowledge and I am going to start off with four knowledge. One, two, three, four. Three creativity. And three influence. And that's our starting resources. And we can get going. So I want to complete projects, raise a family, and die after the second round of old age. That is the aim. There's nothing on the board at the moment that's going to help me uh, decrease my stress beyond the colour that I'm in at the moment. So I think since, since we are nerdy, I think we're going to write non-fiction. And to do that, I'm going to have to take one of my hourglasses and take a project. And I'm going to take writing non-fiction. So the cost for writing my tourist guide is going to be one knowledge and that's gone and I can put the cube here and that will gain me two influence and that's that so that's one project that right away uh, is going towards my goal of completing at least three the projects refill right away so we have jogging and wow I think we're going to be taking stress to grab that project because the bottom of the jogging project is the heart that we need. So let's do that now. So second action, take a project. There's already an hourglass there, so I need to take some, on some stress. And let's start jogging. And we, we're free to do this earlier on because we don't have jobs and relationships that are gonna to count towards that limit of three. So I am a fast walking non-fiction writer. I gained some creativity from the thinking while I was jogging. 
Okay. And now what would I like to do? I could gain, I could go further on these actions. There's no chance of getting a relationship yet because that's only available after we're out of our teens and there's no job. So we could look at going further on these projects. So let's see, let's, let's really go for jogging. So it costs a time to go to turn into a full on jogger and that is gonna gain me a short term happiness. Right there. So yeah, I can get a discount now when advancing projects, which could be useful for the non-fiction project, which does need resources. But that's gonna reset every round. I don't think I wanna take on another project. Oh, a new one should come out there. Oh, spiritual growth. And if I take it, if I take it, then I have another heart at the bottom of that. I think, let's, let's really go for it. Let's, let's go for some spiritual growth, which means another stress. I do not want to take any more stress because that would take me too far into the next zone. So I need to pay a knowledge and I meditate. So that's level one there, but I am close to the stress. With that in mind, I think, I think let's, see I would like the canoeing because it would give some short term happiness. It would give me a relax, which lets me move back one to the left on the stress meter and a point, but I do not start with money. And so I would have to use both of my last actions to get money and then grab uh, the canoeing. So I'm not sure if that is necessarily worth it. I can't get to the bottom of jogging because I only have two of the four that I need, but perhaps it would be worth, it would be worth using these two so I can get to the bottom as soon as possible and start getting the bonus actions. Let's go for it. Let's, let's become a runner. So two time needed to be spent. I can move down and become a runner and I gain a long-term happiness. My first point. And that's it. So we need to do the end of the round. So gain rewards from group projects. There are, there are none. Set aside single round projects, group projects and activities. There are none. Take back my hourglasses. So all I did, I was very project oriented in my teens. And I reset the short term happiness in the normal game that's used to determine the first player. But I'm always gonna be the first player. Move back to the middle. And now we are gonna have access to these previously unavailable actions. Okay, and it is the upkeep phase, so advance the round marker, we are now an adult. Discard the cards from the board that we didn't take. So we didn't go to business school or act in a play. And then we put some new ones out. So we've got some projects there. There's watching a play, we can go to some museums, we can buy that house. The jobs. There's a level two social job and science job. And then for partners, we have Sherry and Bobby. And before the end of the game, I do want to raise a family with a partner. So that could be something to think about this round. I am still in the blue section of uh, stress, so I don't gain or lose any hourglasses. I don't have more than three active projects, jobs or partners, so I don't need to take any stress for that and there are no upkeep costs to pay on these projects. So I can just go straight into the second round. So would I like a job? What have we got here? We need to pay six, six knowledge. That's, that's a lot more, that's a bit beyond my means. I could maybe take the social job. I would need to gain a bit of, although I do get, I get four knowledge when I take the study action. So I could become a science worker, but I would need some more knowledge 
to do the upkeep at the start of the next round. So I think let's keep our focus on our jogging before it gets too late. And I'm going to spend two of my time to move down here, get three long-term happiness for becoming a marathoner. And I have got that health. So that's two points up there. And when you take one of these, you move one section to the left and stay in the same relative position. So I will now be on the right-hand side of this section. And next round, I'm going to get an extra action. And that will now be a completed project for me. So we could just really go for these projects early on. Since we are a young adult, let's really go for it. I haven't got any short-term happiness, though. So these are going to cost me the full amounts. But let's go for it. I think, so I've got four actions. If I had the knowledge, I could get to the very bottom of this, but I just haven't right now. So what we could do, we could go, we could go to a temp job and earn three money right now and then I'm gonna spend for a change and I'm gonna go to the museum. A day trip to the museum costs two money and it's gonna get me two knowledge, two creativity and a short-term happiness. So that's now gone, that's in my past experiences and now I think I am going to advance on spiritual growth. So I move down here. That costs me a time and normally two knowledge, but because my short term happiness is one, I just have to pay one. And I gain a long term happiness. So we're at four going towards that goal of 50. Okay. And I have one more action and I think it's going to be to advance on this once more. So gain followers. It's another time and three knowledge, but I just need to pay two. And that earns me two influence. So I'm raking in the influence right now. And two long-term happiness. So we're now at six. And that is it for this round. I can set aside my jogging project now as completed. I'll put it just off to the side here. So we've got one of the three completed projects that I need available. So we move on to upkeep for round three. So there we go. Second stage of adult. Get rid of all of these cards. A lot of cards that I don't, I don't think I took anything. I took one item that round. Really, really focused on my projects right now. So, gain or lose hourglasses, I now gain an hourglass, so I'm going to get an extra action. Uh, I don't get stressed because I haven't got multiple partners or more than three projects on the go. And I don't have any upkeep costs, so I'm ready now for the third round. So, the relationships. Jamie really wants a guy with a job. Claire wants someone with money. But... The goal in this round is definitely going to be to achieve enlightenment, which is going to use two of my hourglasses, but I need to earn three knowledge, which because of my bonus could just be done with studying, but could I do it another way? See, the job would just earn me money. I could start dating Jamie and she would, she would give me three knowledge, the three that I need. And then I could advance the relationship after taking a job and get some, get some more knowledge. That might be a thing to do, actually. Let's try that. So first action is going to be develop a relationship. So I'm going to start a relationship with Jamie. There she is. We are just dating. And I've gained three knowledge. And now I am going to get a job. 
it's a social job. So I'm going to be a, an adequate worker at my social job. It costs a knowledge and three of my many, many influence. And I earn six money for that. And as long as I can keep paying the one knowledge and one influence, I will keep earning six money every round. But this, the level two social job has just gone there, so promotion might be a bit harder for this. Okay, now, let's see, I can, I can advance the relationship, but I would take stress to do that, and I don't want to take stress because it would move me to the next level. So yoga would be nice because it's got another heart and I could start getting three extra hourglasses every round. But I think one thing I need to do is rest. And that is going to let me move two to the left on the stress meter. So now I can develop a relationship, move up on the stress. Since Jamie would like to be in a relationship with someone with a level one job or higher, and I have a level one social job, I can move to the next level. And I earn three more knowledge for doing that and a short-term happiness for my newfound relationship. Let's see, now I could do the spiritual growth action with two of my three hourglasses here and <laughs> I can spend three rather than four because of my short-term happiness. The ice cream van just went past in the background. I don't know if the mic picked that up. And we have achieved enlightenment to the sound of ice cream. And I can get four influence, two long-term happiness, we're now at eight, and some health, which is gonna move me down here. So we're at the edge again, so I can't take any more stress, but next round I'm gonna get two extra hourglasses. So that is gonna go away. So I have one guy left. Should I, should I buy something? So I could, I could buy a comic book collection and that would earn me creativity for a long time. This would earn me, the celebrity items collection would earn me influence over and over again. And it would get me some points. It costs a lot of money though. So it's eight now, I have seven. So I couldn't get to the bottom level of the celebrity items collection. I could get to this, that's gonna earn me two and no points, but let's, let's have a comic book collection. Do we think? Let's, let's go for it. Couldn't be bad, right? It doesn't count towards the limit of the project or anything. So I need to put my last hourglass on spend. I am gonna spend six of my seven money and go for a whole room of comic books. So that goes there. I'm gonna earn six creativity from all the amazing stories I'm reading and two long-term happiness. So we are now at 10. So a fifth of the way there. And every round I'm gonna to have to pay three money, but I'm gonna get a point every round for the sheer happiness that that room gives me. And we are done for the round. So. There are no group projects to be finished. I can set aside this finished project now. So, advance the round marker. So, I'm, I'm in my 40s now. We get rid of the cards. So, hopefully, another social job will come up so we can get promoted and be able to raise a family with Jamie. Gain or lose hourglasses, I'm gonna gain another hourglass because of my position on the stress track. Uh, I get no additional stress because I have three things on the go. I have no additional partners. And now I need to pay upkeep costs. So one time a knowledge and an influence at the start of the round is going to earn me my six money wages for being an adequate worker. I need to spend a time with Jamie and I will get three knowledge and a short term happiness. That's very nice. And I need to pay three money to maintain my whole room of comic books. And that is going to earn me a long-term happiness. So we're at 11. 
and I think we are ready. So, now what shall I do? I definitely need to be progressing this so it's complete by the end of the game. So I think, let's, let's start out here. I have a short-term happiness, so I get a discount of one on writing a biography. So it just costs me a time and a knowledge. Move down here, gain two influence and a long-term happiness. So we're now at 12. I could keep going, I've got the I've got the knowledge to be able to do it, but I do need some knowledge left over at the end of the round so I can keep my job, really. But an academic paper, getting to the bottom of this is a lot of points, actually, I've just noticed. Getting, the, getting rid of this would be very nice, though. So we can worry about getting some more knowledge later. Spend another time for an academic paper. Move this down, pay three, that's all of my knowledge and earn two influence and three points. So we're now at 15. We could gain a clothes collection. We could pay four for the walk-in wardrobe, which is the money I've got at the moment. And that would earn me an influence, a short-term happiness and two points. And then that's got an upkeep of three, which is a point every round. So I think that's, that's a nice option. So yeah, let's, let's spend all of my money and let's get a clothes collection to go with that comic book collection. So I'm having a walk-in wardrobe, level two there, and I'm gonna earn an influence, a short-term happiness, and two more points. So we're at 17 now. And so I have two points every round from my possessions. Three hourglasses left. So one thing I definitely need to do is get some knowledge because I have none and I need some for my job. So I earn four because I was a nerdy child. Two, three, four. So, so that's unfortunate because I have two hourglasses to be able to write my textbook and with a discount of two, I could do it with my four knowledge, but I need a knowledge as the upkeep for my job. So I'm not gonna be able to do that. So I could take a project here. I would be able to get a discount because of my short-term happiness. And what could we afford here? I need to save a knowledge. Oh, there was a knowledge hiding under here the whole time. So, oh, maybe that... Oh, does that change things, though? I could write my textbook. I had another knowledge. Yeah, I could write my textbook. But this, this seems like it'd be nice. I can do that any time. I have a ton of creativity. So that's seven. And I have a ton of influence. And with the discount, I could even... I could even save two creativity. I could, I could work very, very hard spending all of this stuff and come first place in the arts competition. And that would earn me four money, which is always nice. And six long-term happiness. So we're at 23. I could rest and go to the left one, it seems like a, a bit of a waste just to just to be able to move one space. Let's just grab some quick cash, the little temp job on the side of my social job. And that's it. Okay, so rewards from group projects, there are none. We can set aside this art competition since it was just a single round activity. We are ready for the last round of adulthood. Here we go. I think this round is the time to get promoted and advance the relationship, since if we advance the relationship, we can start, we can raise a family and start earning points every round, because there's not, there's not much of the game left. There's only two more rounds after this. 
So I need to pay a time, a knowledge, and an influence to earn six cash. I need to spend time with Jamie and I will get three creativity, three knowledge, sorry, and a short term happiness. And there's no upkeep there, but I need to spend six money. So I spend my wages and I gain two long term happiness. So we're now at 25, halfway there, but at the very end of the game. So let's get promoted. I can spend a time. And since this is going away, these two can go into the spent time section over here. I need to pay two knowledge and four influence. One, two, three, four. And I now get promoted to level two of my social job. I gain three money right now and three long-term happiness for my I'm very happy about this new promotion. And so now I have a level two job. So this is gonna be a two hour glass upkeep now though. And I need to have some influence left over. So I need to, let's set this aside. I need that as upkeep. But I'm gonna earn 11 money around now. But the other thing I wanted to do was uh, advance my relationship. Since I now have a level two job or higher, I can raise a family with Jamie, and that's gonna earn me two long-term happiness. That's 30 I'm on now. But that is now four of my hourglasses that are now gonna be taken up with these things. So I have four knowledge. It would be nice to earn some more knowledge. But, see I need I need five, I've got one short-term happiness, so I need another knowledge. So one of these is probably gonna be spent. I think it's absolutely gonna be spent studying, so I can get four. And then I am gonna spend two time writing my non-fiction textbook. So that's Five, that's gonna cost me because of my short-term happiness discount. I can move down here, gain three influence, which I'm running out of, and oh no, six points. I spent the six knowledge. So 36 long-term happiness we're now at, and I have one action left. We should spend, we should spend. Let's spend. I think the carting would be very nice because that's gonna cost five, right now there's no upkeep in the future so no more points in the future that costs five and i relax so i go down to the left so i could do an action again and i get three long-term happiness so we're now at 39 and that was my last action and oh overtime becomes unavailable now we're in old age okay so new round I'm getting all sorts of storage and battery warnings from my camera, so I'm gonna to have to pick up the pace here, maybe. Oh, old age, I just stress, so I need to go up three stress, so I'm only gonna get one extra hourglass. I'll just work that out in advance. So now we have upkeep. I need to spend two time on my job, which also needs a knowledge and two influence. And that's 11 money. And I need to spend two of my time to gain four long-term happiness. It's 43 now we're on, but that only leaves three time for our hobbies and things. But that's life, so let's go. I have just noticed as well, how did I miss this when I was putting the cards out? Social job level three, we definitely want that. And then we could retire. Wow, yeah, let's do that. What can earn me a lot of influence? Personal gym, that's three points and five influence. That might be what we go for. I think that, let's go for a personal gym. I've got a lot of cash at the moment and I'm about to get promoted. I've got a sneaking suspicion, I've heard a rumor. So, seven money, five, six, seven. And that's gonna gain me five influence and three long-term happiness. 
and to be able to oh of course that was a spend action i need to put that on there and i'm going to need some more knowledge we will just study like we've always done and that earns me four because of my power and now my last action this round is going to be to get promoted so that's going to cost four that shouldn't have been up there. It's going to cost four knowledge, seven influence. Oh, but we wouldn't have enough. We wouldn't have enough influence to be able to pay the upkeep of this new job, though. The upkeep would be two influence. So have I got ahead of myself to be able to do this? Does this mean we're going to lose out on the social job? It could very well mean we're going to lose out on it. What could we do instead? We could spend some more money. Instead of getting promoted, unfortunately, I, th I thought we'd worked it out, but we, we wouldn't be able to do the upkeep. So what would happen then, we would lose the job and gain a stress and lose a short-term happiness. I would get five points right now though, but then we would lose the job. And who wants that? So I'm gonna spend again and let's go to a cocktail party and I will be a mixologist for money. And that's gonna get me three influence, three influence and two long-term happiness. We're at 48 now and that can just go away because we've got no upkeep. So we are now in the second round of old age. We move up to six. I lose an hourglass. Well, two really, because I had a bonus one and I lose one anyway. So we're now at five. So we're not going to get to do a lot of actions. Upkeep, two time, a knowledge and an influence, and two influence gets me 11 money. And two more time gets me four long-term happiness. And that's that. So I have one action. So what shall I do? I've got a ton of money. I could, oh, there's, there's upkeep here as well. I haven't paid this upkeep. I need to pay 9, 15 money, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, there we go, almost forgot, and that earns me 5, oh no, that's, that, that was only, uh, that's only 3, so I get 4 points and I should have 3 money back, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay then, so, we have got the point, we've got everything that we need. So let's just do one thing, I have four money. Oh, Robot Wars competition. I've just noticed this, let's see. I, I haven't got the knowledge to get very far in it. Two, four, that's four points though. Two, three, four. Yeah, let's, let's take a project, Robot Wars competition. We will be a runner up in the Robot Wars competition two knowledge and four creativity. And that's four long-term happiness. And that's the round already. We only had one action. So we gain the rewards and everything, get these back. But what's gonna happen now is we're gonna get into the last round of old age and progress nine spaces and we cannot do that. So unfortunately our life has come to an end, but I think we have, we have lived a very long and happy life. So let's see how we did. At the end of the game, we have an inheritance. Uh, when we die, we pass to our loved ones our most valuable experiences and possessions. For every five resources of the same type or five money, get a long-term happiness. Unfortunately, we are just short for everything. I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine influence. So that's one, 61. I have three creativity and four money. So unfortunately, we're just short there. Life goals, we just need to check that we achieved them. Complete three projects. Yes, we completed a lot of projects. We, we were avid joggers, we achieved enlightenment, we won that art competition, we wrote textbooks, and we were a runner up in the Robot Wars competition. We definitely completed three projects. Raise a family with a partner. Well, yeah, with Jamie, thanks to my level two job, she was happy to raise a family with me. And die after the second round of old age, 
I have died at the third round of old age, so I have made it. And the other condition of a solo game is reach 50 points. We've reached 61, and that is it. So, looking over at my uh, strange possessions and projects, that was my life. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoy this game. It's, it's really nice telling the story of what happens to your character and it's just fun being able to work out how you can do things like you see, saw there. I almost had that promotion. I almost had that level three social job and I could have I could have retired and lived the life of luxury in my old age, but I didn't quite make it there. Perhaps I should have taken another job, but there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know if you got any comments. But other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.